Hi, my name is Sydney. Um, I learned about the March 1st movement just a little while ago. I heard about it like a year or so ago, but I didn't quite fully understand it until just recently. I read the, this book on the March 1st movement and it told a bunch of different stories of different people, um, women, children, um, students, and it's just, it impresses me that everyone was involved in this march movement. They even, they reached out to American Koreans and even then the American Koreans, they started to protest where they lived and it's just, just so amazing how everyone can unite and fight for the same thing. Even if they're not in the same country, they still fight for their country and it's just very inspiring to me. I had a few favorite stories and they were mostly about the flags. Um, I think one of my favorite is that the kids, they would get flags and they would put them all over the place and it was kind of like a little game to see how long it would take for a Japanese policeman to take it down and if theirs was up longer, they were like, hey, I put it in a good place and I just thought that was really fun. An independence movement, so there were some casualties, by some there were a lot, uh, a lot of innocent people, they did a lot of peaceful marches. They tried to protest peacefully, but of course it was all kind of received wrongly, if you will. They were uh, taken into, they were taken into prison and um, they were, of course, uh, punished, unfortunately, for stuff that wasn't even, they weren't really bothering anyone. They were just protesting their rights as they should. And I just, I found it really interesting and I hope that someday that North Korea and South Korea can become one again and they can have that bond like they used to. And I just hope that I can see that one day. Bye.